Zawadika. Today I am still over in Phuket. Uh, we came over here, gosh, actually I've forgotten what day we arrived here, but we came from Bangkok and to Phuket. So once again, very hot, steamy, all of those sorts of things. But the purpose of the video today was to tell you a little bit about how I like to travel um, in these sort of southern Asian countries where it's always really, really hot and humid. But as you can see today, in this kind of weather, I like to go makeup free. I know. It's a big deal for me, but when it is this hot, steamy and humid, the last thing I really want to do is have makeup melting and sliding down my face. So it's a good opportunity to have a week or two of just drinking water, yep, totally drinking water, <laughs> and um, doing good things for my skin, getting lots of sleep, all that kind of thing. And of course, going makeup free in a humid climate is one of the best things that you can do for your skin. Anyway, before I went, I did something that gave me that little bit of extra confidence to be able to do that because I hate leaving the house without mascara. I went and for the very first time, I went and got eyelash extensions. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so you can see that they're a lot longer and darker than usual. That's, you know, if this camera will focus. I don't know. Is it working? See? Eyelash extensions. Um, I've been really worried about getting these for ages because, as you probably know, with all the modelling and things, I use a lot of the glue-on strip lashes, and I was kind of worried that that would damage the lash extensions, pull them out, and so on. But I found this amazing girl, Vanessa, over in um, Turak in Melbourne, and Vanessa runs her own business called Lash Couture, and she specialises only in lash extensions. And she's done a really amazing job in making them look really natural and flared out to the side. So thank you, Vanessa. You did a fantastic job. And you've actually allowed me to go makeup free this holiday. Um, they've lasted really, really well. I've actually had them on now for just over a week. And I'm putting them through their paces, of course, with this kind of traveling. But they're about to get the ultimate test on Monday because on Monday, I'm going snorkeling off PP Island around James Bond Island. So. I'm actually also going to put my red lipstick to the test and see, can I keep red lipstick on while I'm snorkeling? So here's where I am today. Uh, we're at My Cow Beach, My Cow Beach, um, also known as Turtle Beach here in Phuket, which is up in the north of Phuket. And we're staying at the Marriott uh, My Cow Beach Resort, which is really, really amazing. So I'm going to try and show you. And we can actually see go, all the way out to the Andaman Sea which I have taken some amazing footage of yesterday for you. And um, the footage that I took yesterday was just gorgeous because the storms were rolling in over the sea. And in fact, I even got a little bit rained on while I was out there collecting seashells. But this is where we are, my cow at the Marriott. And this is one of those really nice, quiet, quiet, thank God, um, resorts that you can take your kids to. So needless to say, mine have spent the entire time either in the really lovely kids club with the gorgeous girls there or swimming in the pool. See? Dun, dun. Yeah. Oh, I, if you haven't noticed, I kind of make my own soundtracks to these things while I'm busy talking to you. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Love it. Just gorgeous. So we've been off um, seeing tailors, those sorts of things, because you know you really can't come to Thailand without going to see tailors and, and get things custom made. So that's another thing I'm putting through its paces is uh, a couple of the, the local tailors here that um, I've used different ones before, and most of the time they're really familiar with the common fashions, common patterns. This time I've done something really different, and I've brought them a number of unusual 40s and 50s type pieces, including uh, Mr. SKM's 40s high-waisted pants, which they have to make simply from a picture alone. So today we're going to find out how that went. Um, I'm going to go for some fittings for a couple of pieces that they've done for me, um, up to according to the, the patterns and the pictures that I've been putting together. And we'll see if I actually have a really good source for tailoring and, and putting those pieces together here. So it's, once again, hot, beautiful here. And um, I'm trying to stay makeup free. Uh, a little bit shiny, a little bit shiny, but that's to be expected when it's like 32 degrees and I don't know, maybe 80% humidity, but it is great. Um, and we're also hoping to go and see the orchid garden today, which I would love to get a chance to see and to also do a little bit of filming for you because it's one of the most beautiful sights ever. The palm trees, the flowers, everything is just gorgeous. So for those of you sitting at home in Melbourne where I've heard it has been snowing in the Dandenongs, snowing in Canberra. All I can say is 
start planning a holiday now because winter in Australia is hideous, unless you're living in northern Queensland. Or maybe Perth, but even then, it's a little bit hot and dry. So start planning your holiday now, seriously, and you have got to get over to this side of the world in winter because it will do you the world of good. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this up on the blog now and also try and edit up some of the outfit photos that I've taken while I'm over here for you. Bye!